ओके हाय फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल सो टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट न्यू टॉपिक कॉल्ड एज एन एनजीआर साइजिंग कैलकुलेशंस ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक्स टू ऑल ऑफ यू टू ऑल द सब्सक्राइबर्स हु आर वाचिंग माय चैनल एंड हु आर गिविंग सम गुड कमेंट्स एंड हु आर लाइकिंग माय चैनल एंड यू आर विजिटिंग एंड यू आर लर्निंग दैट इज अ रियली वेरी गुड थिंग एंड आई विल रिक्वेस्ट यू टू कीप ऑन लर्निंग and who ever want to join uh, who ever want to enter into this course so please keep watching my videos and if you are really want really you are serious you can call on my number which i have displayed on the on the thumbnail and you can see which batch is going on okay lot of students are coming and they are are in touch with me and they are learning and they are focusing and they are getting their jobs so you will also to get it just keep uh, believe in yourself and keep be focused on your work okay so we'll meet in this uh, new topic called as the ngr sizing calculations okay so this is a very simple topic first of all try to understand on um, ngr sizing calculation is not at all difficult one see what is ngr basically ngr is neutral grounding resistance okay it is neutral grounding resistance okay first we will understand how to calculate let's say this is your transformer okay let's say say take the same example Uh, this is star to star. We have taken in my earlier videos same like this is your 110 by 13.8 kV transformer. Okay, so this is the neutral of the second side of the transformer. So normally NGR is used. NGR is nothing but this neutral. This neutral, this neutral we have to earth to the ground using this resistance. Okay, and this is this resistance is called as NGR. Okay. That is neutral grounding resistance. You can also call it as NER. Neutral earthing resistance. You can. There are two different names: neutral grounding resistance or neutral earthing resistance. Okay. So basically, to do the NGR sizing means you have to calculate the value of this resistance. Okay. So we all know a simple formula. That is V is equal to IR. Okay. V is equal to what? IR. Where if we have a voltage, if we have a current value, we can easily calculate this R value. Okay, so NGR also same calculations. This formula get applied here. So this is your neutral. Okay, so now we know this in star condition, line to line is how much it is. Now this is the second side. So first of all, try to understand NGR is normally used at the MV side. Okay, medium voltage are at the HV side, not at the LV side. Okay. because at the lv side the earth fault current value is at a lower level so you don't have to limit that current but at the medium voltage or the high voltage side what happens the voltage level is very high so the uh, in case of earth fault huge current can flow through a neutral so to limit that current basically you have to use this ngr okay now we'll see how to do the sizing calculation for this ngr so this is your line to line let's say this is your star okay This is your line to line voltage, which is your VLL, okay, and this is your neutral. So phase to neutral. This is your phase, okay, voltage phase to neutral. So this phase to neutral is what? How much? Line to line is your thirteen point eight kV, okay. Line to line is thirteen point eight kV. So phase to neutral. This is your phase. This is your phase, and this is your neutral. So this voltage, basically. You have to calculate. This is your phase. Let's say this is R phase, R R Y, and this is your B. Okay. So and this is your neutral. So between Y and N, or let's say R and N, or let's say B and N, whatever phase, it is line to line divided by root three. Okay. So we will be getting this voltage that is from phase to neutral, R to neutral, or Y to neutral, B to neutral. The voltage is thirteen point eight kilo slash root three. Okay, so we have got this voltage. That is your 13.8 divided by root 3 equal to I. I here is what? This I passing through this neutral is nothing but your I n. Okay, what is this? This is I n. I n is what? Neutral current. Okay. Now what is neutral current? Basically, neutral current is nothing but it is 50% of your phase current. Okay, or we can say If you will divide phase voltage by two, phase current by two, you will get neutral volt, neutral current. So phase current is nothing but what? It's the second side full load current of the transformer. So we all know how to calculate the second side full load current. Okay. So phase current 
is how how we calculate it is, is what uh, let's say this transformer is of uh, 80 MVA okay we everybody know 80 divided by root 3 into this 13.8 kV so this is your kVA 80 MVA means 10 raised to 3 this is 80,000 kVA happened divided by root 3 into 13.8 kV this will give some value around about uh, 3343 okay you can calculate it what I remember this value it is 3343 around somehow approximately you will get this value so whatever phase current you have got if you divide this phase current by 2 you will get you will get value to some around 1600 amperes or 1650 amperes something okay so neutral current is 50 percent of your phase current or you can say phase current divided by 2 you will get the neutral current so you have to consider this neutral current as this which is 1600 amperes or 1650 amperes whatever it is i don't know the exact value you can calculate it into r okay so now we have voltage voltage is your phase to neutral voltage current here current is your neutral current and r so from this value you can find it out r easily okay so this is how the simple calculation for calculating neutral grounding resistance okay so you will get some value let's say you have got some value of 5 ohms I don't, I don't, I'm not sure how much is the exact value but let's compare consider this value you have got it 5 ohms okay so either you can use a 5 ohms resistance here okay or we can increase this value of resistance little bit if we increase the value of resistance what will happen the neutral current will be reduced so if you have to reduce this neutral current let's say in case of fault condition earth fault current is flowing through this neutral and if you have to reduce this earth fault current okay now understand why we need to reduce this earth fault current the reason is if the if in case of fault condition if the earth fault if there is huge earth fault current is flowing through the neutral it can harm to the relay connected here okay there is a ct here basically we consider here here is a ct okay or we can say consider we can consider here as a ct so we extend this up here. Let's say there is one CD here and this is one relay here. Okay, to measure the unfold current. So if the huge current flow through the city, the parallelly the secondary side the current output will be more for the relay side. So it can damage this relay. So that is the reason we have to reduce the phase current, neutral neutral current. So let's say if you increase this 5 ohms to let's say 4 times, multiply 4, if you increase it to 20 ohms, okay. So straight forward, if you increase the resistance by 4 times, your current will get reduced by 4 times. So this is how you reduce the current. Okay. So I hope this is a very simple formula. Uh, you have got the value. Okay. If you have any doubts, you can put into comment sections and I will reply you query. So keep watching my channel. And if you want to really join or if you really want to uh, be a part or, or to enter into a design engineering field, you can definitely call on the number. And you will. I will show that I will guide you and you will get...